Welcome to the Fasting Podcast, Wow, Wellness and Optimal Weight. I'm your host, Julie Phillips, Certified Natural Health Professional for two decades, bringing you episode 142, Lazy Keto Diet. So what makes it lazy? Well, if you look at traditional ketogenic diets, they specify how many carbs, proteins, and fats per day based on your number of calories. So there's a lot of counting. Well, lazy keto only counts carbs, which they say is ideally less than 20 grams per day. Maximum and extreme cases, 50 grams of net carbs. And now what net carbs are, you take the total carbs, you subtract the fiber, and you also could subtract the natural sugar alcohols if there are any, like erythritol. None of those count toward the net carbs. You're not having in lazy keto to count protein, fats, or calories like the traditional strict keto. It's typically taught as a program that eats natural whole foods, not processed foods, which is a basic premise for our podcast, promoting better health. I love that. It's used by some people to ease into traditional strict keto some who have achieved weight and body composition goals already, and then they taper into this as a more relaxed environment, and those just not wanting the strictness. The potential benefits can be large depending on how you do it, beyond being easier to accomplish because it's less strict and less work. Benefits can include weight loss, blood sugar balance, insulin sensitivity, more blood pressure normalization and such. Foods typically recommended are healthy fats. For example, extra virgin olive oil. Again, always choose organic. Grass-fed butter or ghee, G-H-E-E. MCT oil, coconut oil. Organic protein. For example, wild-caught fish, natural poultry, including organic eggs, grass-fed organic meat, So you don't want to get the hormone steroids and antibiotics in the meat products. Full fat organic cheese, but beware about the potential of dairy allergies. And low carb organic veggies, for example. Leafy greens, again, always organic. Cruciferous veggies like broccoli and cauliflower, asparagus, green peppers, etc. And if you need a natural sweetener, They recommend monk fruit or stevia. There are quite a few cautions. So one of the key points is know your numbers. If you do too much protein in this plan, some of it can actually turn into carb stores as glycogen in the muscles and liver. That's a process called gluconeogenesis, where the body can take amino acids, even from your own body, let alone the food you eat. And if it stores in the muscles and liver for an emergency situation, it can prevent getting into the fat burning ketosis with ketones. So in other words, too much protein can result in not burning fat. So what's a good idea to know your numbers? Monitor your ketones, ideally with a blood ketone monitor. We did a whole episode on measuring in the past. You may want to check that out. Now, on the other extreme, if you do too little protein, then you can actually lose muscle mass. And we don't want to do that. So some body composition scales are actually less than $30 on Amazon And the body composition scale will tell you body fat, visceral fat, clinging to vital organs, etc. And you can learn about how much protein you need in previous episodes. Now, if you're going for something called autophagy, what we've referred to in the past as Superman mode, maybe you're doing an extended type fast in part of your program, then too much protein can actually stop the beneficial process. So we've, we have done an episode on autophagy. If there's too many calories overall, not only can we be failing at losing weight, we can actually gain weight if all we're doing is counting the carbs. And if too many fats are consumed, even though they're good healthy fats, they will be burned before the body works hard to break down stored fat. 
and we want it to break down stored fat, not just subcutaneous under the skin type fat, but visceral fat clinging to vital organs. And again, the body composition scale can actually measure visceral fat, and that's a key indicator of beware. There might be something like fatty liver in your future. If eating food spans the bulk of the day where you're eating, 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 and only counting your carbs, there might be no times for burning stored fat at all. So you might want to consider using this approach with intermittent fasting where you have, for example, a six to eight hour eating window with two or even maybe three meals a day during the six to eight hours. And that would leave, if it was a six hour window, 18 hours to burn off the stored glycogen in the muscles and liver and clean things up and rest your systems and get around to burning the fat. And if it was an eight hour eating window, that would be 16 hours where you're doing water primarily or things like herbal tea in the other longer hour period. After being successful for a while, if you tackle this, you might want to consider a month of strict traditional keto, where you're continuing to monitor your body composition scale and your blood ketone kit, because as always, we encourage you to listen to your body, tweak your choices to what feels best for you. So if you've been doing the lazy keto diet and you're tired or you're not losing weight or you're losing muscle or that type of thing, Either way, you always want to listen to your body, and we did do an episode on that. Tweak your choices. Do what feels right to you. There is a Mojo Keto Glucose Ketone Test Kit that you can get where you do one finger prick yourself, and you get a ketone reading and a glucose reading and glucose ketone index. And again, we did a episode on measuring what's going on, know your numbers. So don't just assume you can do lazy keto diet and magically achieve all the benefits possible. You have to be cognizant and see what's going on with you. Possible next steps for questions and feedback, contact me, Julie, at jpwowprograms.com. You can check out the website there, and please refer others to the podcast and YouTube. Have a wonderful day. Stay positive, focused, and determined, because where the mind goes, energy flows.